hello, you bag of mashed up radishes. Uh, Jim Sterling here, and this has just exploded on my screen. This is Cloud Chamber, by the way. I just signed up for an, you need a fucking account for it. And then this just happened. So we dived right in. It's supposed to be some multiplayer element to it. Um, it's a whole lot of shit happening at my face. That's very busy. That unnerved me. But, hello! Uh, whoa. What is the signal? Okay. Her decision. So, well, this rather delightful music place. Hello, everyone. This is Cloud Chamber. I am Jim Sterling. And, yeah. As is customary with this particular series, I've just dived right in without knowing too much about it. What little I know involves trying to piece together some mystery in a somewhat multiplayer environment. Looking at live action found footage videos and shit. But let's discover it together. Okay. And these are, I guess, other players. So, turn it up a bit. We'll we'll patiently watch the video. What if that's actually on YouTube, or if it's just they made it look all YouTubey? Probably they've made it look all YouTubey, haven't they? Okay. <laughs> yeah. This little wonder can be linked up to the entire skyline of antennas. You see, I don't get it. So what? Why is why are they filming him it's filming it's him? Pirate radio network for broadcasting and receiving radio signals. Why? Yeah, this is seriously illegal. I'm leaving now. And then a slender man appeared. That's not why I brought you up here. Oh. Not the only reason. Okay, rain check, Max. The sound you were blown away by, Kathleen. I pulled it through that antenna directly from the atmosphere. What? It has all the components. He looks like Timmy Mallet's son. It has a pattern to it. Like a baseline, like a piece of sound that's part of a communications network. What the hell are you guys talking about? Look, I'll show you. Please do. You might want to back up a bit. Yeah, listen to what he says, bruv. Just back up a little bit. So far, the filming and acting quality is on par with, say, a, a CBBC show like Grange Hill, which ain't bad. It's all right. Look up. Who was filming that bit? Who's holding this camera? Why hasn't he said anything? Or she? That's never happened before. Yeah. I was just reading that line there, and the logical Joker. He says that's never happened before. Not to be cliche, but what makes this night special different from all the others, or is this a different source that's hijacked the signal? The fuck is going on? Is this signal relaying the same information? This looks like the start of something epic. I have no clue what's happening. Okay, can someone please clue me in on what's going on? Thanks. Uh. Uh, let me add to it. You know you can get arrested for that. And there, I made a little post. Relax, man. I do this all the time. And you can thumbs up other people's things. You can do this for stickers all over his laptop. Case means he's a. Oh, it started again. Means he's an expert hacker. Upvote. <laughs> well, this is weird. Does this unlock now? Yes. Her decision. Woo! 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 That's like the opening of the the 
Saturday top charts that used to be on, I think, ITV in Britain in the late 80s to early, possibly early 90s. Actually, I think it may have just been late 80s. They had the, the chart show, I think it was called. If any one of you remember that. Let's click on it. Her decision. What has she decided? This is, uh, inside of her that probably got her killed. All these videos are distorted because the information that's been collected in this database is somewhat corrupted, degraded, it's right? To know. Not as a result of her exposure to the signal. This is people poking holes in the so. recording her affectations. Her I'll look at that in a minute. She's cutting her hair. Oh god. What does that mean? What's the metaphor there? She's in a hairy situation. She escaped something by a hair's breadth of the... Maybe she's just trying to look a bit more like Jessica Alba. I know what I'm feeling. Exactly what my mother felt while she was still alive. Mm hmm And while I was inside her. Whoa! Daddy. Because I remember that feeling. It's really good to know her again. I'm not just your daughter. Mm hmm inside of her that probably got her killed. It's also living within me. Is she talking about the cancer? It sounds like she's talking about the cancer. I'm not even trying to be flippant. Okay. I want to agree with what they were saying on the in the comments there though. Those kinds of distortion effects she had to have added herself in Premiere or possibly Sony Vegas, uh, in which case that makes her particularly pretentious. Uh, just saying. I mean, obviously she's very sad. You can, you, you, you can, you can shut up now. Uh, yeah, so possibly pretentious. She should cheer herself up though. Possibly listen to some Peter Gabriel. Uh, yeah. It shows a wave pattern looks similar to the wave pattern on the footage from the roof. So what we're supposed to play guessy guessy what's happening. Discussion feed, notifies your activity in the discussions you've contributed to. Let's have a look at that. Okay. It's just private messages. I mean it's just it's just Twitter. It's Twitter and YouTube, but limited to this with a picture of some very smooth mountains what am I clicking on what's loading here? oh leaderboard so what you're competing for likes so it is like a social network Best post awards. Write the most liked post in a forum to gain these points. Okay. Best comment awards. Write the most liked comments in a forum to gain these points. Best investigator awards. Cut the highest number of badges in a seven day period to earn this badge. Okay. Well, that's that anyway. Let's close this up. Because of you. And where do we go from here? Not over there, that's for sure. Oh, hello. Her decision, you are about to enter. So how do I get over there? Can I? Ah, there we go. We just we see it across the way. Oh, 
Alright. It goes over the mountain and up. There we go. I can just see it across the brow there. But it won't let me click on it. How am I supposed to get over there? I want I want to be about to enter. Well, that's not restricted though. That is. Right. There we go. Thank you. Right. You are about to enter. documentary you're about to enter isn't authorised anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm uploading it anyway. Some of it's raw, uh, jumbled or unedited, but it's a living record of what's happened. I've tried to assemble all the records I have, but in the end, you're going to need to sort it and make sense of it yourself. Kathleen, if you see this, you know we're not going to let up on your dad till we get you back. We will find you. I promise. That sounded more like a threat. Be okay. Um, we've uploaded our story from its beginning. Okay. We need help to find its end. What is the signal? Was Kathleen right about it? What's Gustav hiding? And what's up with your Benedict Cumberpatch hair? Where'd they start, Tom? They already have. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. The documentary about. Again, added their own post effects. When do they start, Tom? What is Max asking about the files that loading or something else? They're assuming that Kathleen has been kidnapped. How do these people have this much investment in it so far? Who are they? Who is any... Who are these fuckers? Who are these two dicks? They both seem very upset about something. That really is that... Yeah. Um, after careful study uh, of this footage and looking at the... Uh, uh, hidden metaphors within I can surmise that these are two men and that they have made a video and that they are sad about something and they have Trendy hair, and one of them wears a white shirt. Uh, what could it mean, Slender Man? The Slender Man, Chungus, David Cage. There we go. I think I've helped. I'm fairly certain I've helped. Mm hmm. Let's go. It's still locked. Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. Uh, we. Part two. Oh, is that it? If I push my face right up close to the screen, it'll look exciting. Oh, that blinded me. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, God. The island's gone all purple. This used to be a documentary. Let's have a look. Some old man's head. It's uh, possibly Pete Postlethwaite. No, it's not. The Ice Queen cometh. Till down from Niels to Kathleen, and don't ever turn the camera off, especially if I tell you to. That's a clue. Let me work that out. Ice. Hi, Kathleen. Oh. This is our cameraman, Lars. It's a bit laggy, the thing. Ice Queen cometh is what he says. Ice is cold. King Cold was a character in. Dragon Ball... Oh god, fucking keyboard! Dragon Ball Z! Uh, Dungeons and Dragons... 
dungeon, sex dungeon. Sex. Uh, let's see. We, we, we're going through the looking glass here. Sex and the city. City slickers. Oh, shit. I accidentally hit enter. Hang on. We can edit this. City slickers. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, oil slick. Black oil from X Files. This is set in the X Files universe. Cracked the case. We've done it. Why did it squash all that up? Ruining it? I've got to go and format it. I'm not even paying attention to this. God damn it! Iron Maiden, that could be a clue. The trap sound here that comes from the birthplace of the universe. Like the Big Bang? Yeah, something like that. A fish tank? <laughs> Cute little fishes. I can touch it, yeah? There we go. What is it? It's an experimental cloud chamber. A vault we're testing with the hope of one day being able to... Okay, what are these people talking about? Particles known to mankind. Neutrinos. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fascinating. Through all man made matter, steel, lead, even Earth itself. We know almost nothing about them, what their impact on us is. Actually, Thomas, as we speak, millions of neutrinos are passing through the glass, slicing through your hand. Is that a bad thing? There's an ongoing conversation between some scientists learning about neutrinos. Cancer. cancer, she said. That is what I was talking about in the other video. At least in my opinion. And people were complaining about the last few videos I've done on my channel not having any gameplay in it. And we're getting all the fucking gameplay now. More gameplay than you could ever hope to fucking see in a fucking thing. Anyway, that's that. Do you think originally the documentary might have been a ruse? Like Tom might have been working for another group performing corporate espionage or something like that. If neutrinos are the ultimate goal of the fish tank, uh, what are the particles that are currently in it, which I believe we saw back at the radio tower in part one? This room is meant to trap sound from the birthplace of the universe. Why? The illogical Joker, he's into this shit. I mean, I don't think he's quite got it uh, nailed down as good as I have. Uh, but he's certainly getting replies and things. Best post. Uh, upvote it. Can't upvote my own. Flag abuse. Hopefully they don't flag wine, because I'm, I'm, I very much believe in what I'm doing here. Chow, 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 chaka can, chaka can. Right, here we go. Let's see what clues are in this one. Okay, uh, uh, Kathleen has asked us to make occasional video diaries. Almost all of this. All right, but you've got to yeah, yeah. get off the loading screen so you uh, can show me a video diary, blood. Some opinions about what's happening with the experiment. Uh, how we feel, where we think it's going, what it means, all in these diaries. Um, so that journals, she's calling them journals. It's more gravitas than diary. Yeah, but I can't see it. Do you, uh, you want to add anything else? Not really. Nothing's happened in the experiment here. Anyway, I do think it's a little bit odd that. It's not directly related to the experiment, so it doesn't matter. I wonder what's going on. Okay, uh, Kathleen has said, don't hold anything back. So, you know. Don't you think it's a little bit weird, Max, the way the Institute's been treating you? You know, all the high end gear they just suddenly bought for you? It's like a kind of bribe to convince you to join them. 
Plus, Kathleen's practically been throwing herself at you. <laughs> It's weird. No offense, 52 friend. comments! This thing just launched! Why is there so many comments? She's like the annoying sister I never wanted. <laughs> Don't worry, mate. Don't think I'll pass I wonder how many of these are actual Jesus players now looking at this. <laughs> oh, shit. You gotta wonder whether some of them are developers. Not even in a bad way, but just sort of... Trying to spark something, you know, giving us a sort of guide as to how to post. Oh, seagulls. Okay, anyway, that's a... Uh, what's this? Let's just mute the... Yeah, mute the sound. So I'm gonna close that off. Oh god, where are we at? We've done that, we've done that. After it happened, the kind of visible helper. Oh, we can do all sorts. This goes on forever! Let's do helper. Whee. Okay, this is that this is something a bit different. This is an actual file which there we go. Emergency transcript. There's been an accident. Accident. Where are you calling from? My wife has drowned. Have you tried giving a CPR? No. Are you alone or is there somebody there who can uh, help you give your wife CPR? The late. Voices in the background. Oh, she's getting CPR now. What's your location, sir? I'm at the lakes. Near the main dock. Okay, we're on our way, but uh, stay on the line with me. What's your name? No answer. Sir, what is your name? Gustav Peterson. Oh. Uh, witness, what are you doing? Doesn't matter, it's too late. Uh, what's happening, sir? Gustav, can you hear me? Stay on the line with me. Uh, let go of me. Let me try to help her. Call then suddenly. <gasps> Something's happened. The operator's name is G. Hansen. A bit weird seeing as Ingrid's maiden name is Hansen. Must be a common name or it's intentional. Um, bop. Good. Good, good, good. That's my contribution to that one. Her helper, Ingrid Peterson. Her state of mind. Oh, through a cave! Yay! A state of mind. It's a lot of reading now on this. Uh, policeman, okay, take us through what happened. I've already done that, says Gustav. Yes, but often details that have been left out or forgotten or remembered after a bit of time has passed. When the shock has worn off, uh, the shock hasn't worn off now, of course. As I said earlier, I arrived at the lake a little after 10 in the morning looking for my wife. I spotted her floating about 20 metres from shore. She wasn't moving, so I swam out to her, pulled her in. Uh, why we were looking for her, I was worried about her. Did you have a fight that morning before she left the Institute? Argument, yes. Uh, Please what happened. Gustav, it doesn't matter. We were always arguing. The subject matter was inconsequential. Uh, Policeman 1, we'd like to know anyway. What were you arguing about? Gustav, what does this have to do with my wife's death? Policeman 2, we don't mean any disrespect, sir. Uh, we're just a little confused about some of the things that happened after the accident. We're trying to understand it. Uh, okay, we're not talking about your wife. I think what we're trying to say is it's a bit unusual to... I know what a dead body looks like. I've studied them, dissected them, been around them during a good part of my training at university. Uh, dead body. Go on. What that man was doing to my wife was a violation. The things coming up out of her, she was dead. You mentioned earlier that she had been on and off medication. Do you think that's something to do with the death? Yes, how so? It affected her state of mind. State of mind. Okay, what were the things coming up? Pose. He was making a poo out of the mouth. Definitely. So, I mean, it goes on like this. Where are we at? What have we done? A state of mind. Uh, do I know her at all? A load of stuff here. Granules as physicists. Video diary. So yeah, I mean, they're really trying to do a kind of... It's like an interactive Marble hornet type of thing. Oh, How sad for me. Oh, video time. Why does 
does Umbub get a download? And why are they panicking? Gets three upvotes. What if it's all bullshit, Max? What are you talking about? I don't want to publish something that turns out to be a lie. You see what everything is happening? Yeah. Yeah. It's been amazing, but everything we've seen might just be a natural phenomenon that can't be explained. It's not too difficult. What if it's all bullshit, Max? Somebody else gets this out. I think. Fucking hell! I think this statement is uh, very important. To the whole thing. Now, of course, I'm having a bit of fun with this, and part three is unlocked. We could look at these other things. Part three is unlocked, um, but anyway, you know, what? I'm 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 having a laugh, having a joke with the whole thing. But uh, I like the idea of it. I mean, it's a it's a cute idea. That much is for sure. Uh, I guess you get the idea of it. I'm actually going to have a look at part three. I'm going to blaze through it a little bit. I mean, the story itself is kind of... They could have done with some actual setup. I mean, they're doing the whole found footage thing, but... They could do with a bit more of a lead-in. Part of the reason why I'm being as churlish as I'm being is that... I haven't had much reason to care. I don't know who these guys are. It wasn't really established from the outset. Like I said, I set up an account and it just kind of tossed me in here. I'd want to get invested in the world and the characters and everything before, like, truly caring. I mean, maybe that'll open up as we go on, but you kind of establish that stuff first rather than try and be all, ooh, mysterious at the beginning. But we'll do this one and then let me call it quits, because I think I've shown enough for you to go on and continue it if you want to... Play it yourself. Can I see what these stairs lead to? Can't you read? I mean, I really wouldn't go up there. That's a very small sign, in fairness. To my father's office. What's the deal with all oh, the He's in there wanking. Our scientists are making discoveries that will change our world someday. We have to protect their work and their patents. Their research is priceless. Oh, so it's about the money, keeping it for the institute. Money allows me to buy a hundred new computers, hire twenty new scientists. Looking at with this smart little jacket on. But why is the Institute using me to make this documentary? What's the point of it? Thomas, we need to wake people up to the very real possibility of our own extinction. Oh. <laughs> we have to start listening to what That distortion's doing. annoying, actually. Are we in trouble? Oh, it's a call centre! That's what this has all been leading up to. It's a health insurance scam. They're selling bogus health insurance. Uh, we mine the sky here by downloading intergalactic space noise onto our computer so we can analyse it and hear what the universe is sending us via sound. And what is the universe sending us? Fart noises. Black holes. Clues to creation itself, of Earth and our own existence. What about aliens? Yeah, those two should they wish to contact us. Why do you take your headset off like that? Spine spikes, just saw the flare. And why were you so far ahead of everybody else? Oh, <laughs> it's you. Have we spoken before? No. But, uh, everybody knows you. I don't know if we're allowed to talk to you because you're your dad. Why do I get those little desk lamps? I want a little desk lamp like that. What's that? That doesn't belong to the Institute. Okay. Well, that's Cloud Chamber for you anyway. Uh, hope you enjoyed this gameplay video. Uh, it's an interesting idea, I'll give them that, and it's sort of very nicely laid out. Uh, the idea of a collaborative mystery and everything is nice, I'm not too sure about a lot of the delivery itself, but, you know, 
fair play to him for trying something unique. You know. Why downvote me for an umbop joke? It's, 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 it's.